Okay, Jess, let's play a video game. So what do you fancy playing? My game. What's that? Teddy together. Wanted. A loving home for a friendly bird. I don't think so. I think it's Mario time. I think it's Super Mario 3D World time. Okay, so the Nintendo Switch is currently around 80 million units sold and was the best selling console of 2020. Whether you have the original Switch or the diminutive Switch Lite, uh, before you say anything, the colour of this is coral, alright? It's not pink, it's coral. Anyway, the runaway success from Nintendo means you're guaranteed lots of fantastic games for years to come. Now, before the Switch, we had the Wii U. And this wasn't quite as successful. It failed to capture gamers' imagination and despite some amazing games, third party developers quickly jumped ship and Nintendo put it out of its misery after only five years. Just over 13 million units sold, the sales performance of the Wii U was, to use industry speak, poop. Like I said, the, the PU still had some great games, and one of the best, and my personal favourite, was Super Mario 3D World. World, yeah, Worlds? Is that an S? Uh, I'm, not, I'm not really sure. Super Mario 3D World, or Super Mario 3D Worlds? Doesn't matter. Now, it is a 3D game, but, not in the same vein as something like Mario 64, Mario Sunshine, Galaxy. This game is less about exploration and discovery and more about linear levels with strict time limits. The only goal generally being to make it to the flag without losing all your lives. But as a classic Mario experience it's hard to see how Nintendo could possibly improve it. But there is a way. They could put it on the Switch. But you can't just port all games over to the Switch willy-nilly, you need to add something to it. So we also need some extra content. Oh! Somebody's at the door. One second. Ah. And here it is. The Switch port of Super Mario 3D World... Worlds. Uh, and the extra content, Bowser's Fury. So the plot is amazing. It's got a groundbreaking, never before seen storyline of a big dinosaur turtle thing kidnapping a princess, leaving Mario and the gang to go on the rescue. Big tick. The first thing you notice when popping in the Switch version is how quickly you get into the game. With all the positives the Wii U had, it was incredibly slow, taking an age to get the thing to the starting menu and then even longer to get to the actual game. The game runs much faster than its predecessor. Mario and the gang all move significantly quicker, also look sharper, and overall, the whole game is gorgeous. There's an added feature of a photo mode where you can take a screenshot of your favorite moments, add some filters, and even use your collected stamps to make your photos truly unique. Nintendo have also added both local wireless and online multiplayer, this game really comes alive when played with friends and family. And despite the obvious shortcomings of Nintendo's online service, like lack of a built-in chat function and patchy online service at times, it's still a joy to play. With the online, you can only play with people on your friends list, so no play with randoms. Don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I've got Jess and Pete, so I've got all the friends I need. So the game on the Wii U was fantastic. A few tweaks here and there, and it's still an amazing game. But now, on the Switch, it'll reach a much bigger audience and get the appreciation it deserves. The portability of the Switch really adds to this game. The short, self-contained levels means it's perfect for pick-up and play. It's a great game, well worth the port. But wait, there's more. A whole new game mode, in fact. Bowser's Fury. So, Bowser has transformed into Furry Bowser. No, wait, Fury Bowser. And he is royally peed off. Probably it's an identity issue. No one's really sure what he is. He looks like a dragon, but he's got a shell. A while ago, he looked a bit like Dennis Hopper. Psychologically, he's in crisis. Anyway, the only thing that can stop this huge raging turtle thing is Mario and the power of the Gigabells. 
Okay, so I won't go into any massive spoilers here, but essentially this edition is more than a few bonus levels. This is a whole new way of playing. Yes, it's Mario 3D World, but it hasn't got the linear levels, it hasn't got the time limits. You are free to visit the islands of Lake Lapcat as you unlock them in whatever order you feel. In fact, once you've unlocked all the islands, you're free to roam each area and complete objectives in whatever order you like. Each island can be visited and revisited over and over again. There are things to collect, areas to unlock, with no loading screens, it all flows seamlessly. Every now and again it'll start raining, signaling the arrival of Fury Bowser. And if you've unlocked a Gigabell, you can grab it, turn into a massive Mario Kart and do battle. It is so much fun. The only disappointment genuinely is that Nintendo didn't release a full game in this style. In fact, my gut feeling is this is a tester to see if this new open world style will work with Mario. Nintendo, it works. Do it. Mario Odyssey, the latest of the 3D Mario games, is a great game. But you still have separate areas, separate worlds, you visit in that flying hat thing, you get load times. This feels like Mario does Breath of the Wild and it's fantastic. The adventure lasts about 5 hours so it's more than just a quick edition. I just wish there was more. So, do I recommend it? If you've never played this game before, get it. Sell your kids, sell your parents, sell your dog, buy this. It's well worth it. If you've already played it on the PU, the addition of Bowser's Fury is worth the purchase alone. This is the future of 3D Mario. This is something you want to play. This is fantastic. Go get it. I have spoken. Okay, so thank you for watching this episode of Big Bad John Plays With Himself. As always, if you could, and please feel free to leave a comment. This is a new project for me, so any feedback you give will be greatly appreciated. So, thank you very much. I shall see you next week on Big Bad John Plays With Himself.